previously like once I, once i see the question i would directly go to the statement 1 and statement 2 and start uh, solving those mm-hmm. but uh, coming to like in my second attempt you know once i once i've seen the question uh, i would do the pre analysis what like uh, i used to i used to you know think how how can i simplify this question so that uh, the options would be much easier mm-hmm. uh, that would be in the case of uh, data sufficiency and in verbal you know <coughs> as i told you uh, Uh, the elimination process helped me a lot actually in sentence correction critical reasoning and reading comprehension because the options you get are very close to each other mm-hmm. only when you are sure why the one why why one uh, option is wrong only then you can select the correct option correct option what has changed in the verbal part true and that was aided by your understanding of the question because you knew the scope of the questions and then you were able to eliminate the answer choices yeah. earlier good man Honestly speaking, one thing which I loved about your ESR, you ordered the ESR report, and we are going to talk about it as well, was how you managed to score the perfect score in CR. I'm not sure if you are even if you are aware of it, but your CR score was 51, and that's the maximum that you get. So you got everything correct on the CR front, and as far as I remember, during our discussions, CR was something that you were not really comfortable with. so i'm really interested in knowing how did you approach and turn your weakness into your strength and took it to a level where you got a 51 which is a perfect score uh, like you know uh, whenever you know i solve the critical reasoning question you know i was pretty much like in the beginning uh, i didn't know how to approach how to assume the, and uh, there were uh, pretty different kind of questions like evaluate flaw and all those mm-hmm. i was uh, i was i used to falter basically on evaluate questions and assumption questions as you remember i told you as well mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah like uh, once i started solving uh, like you know uh, after the, like once it once once i took gmat and uh, you know gmat wells and uh, uh, started using those concepts uh, you know like a pre analysis was uh, really easy for me because after uh, uh, taking the gmat wells uh, concepts actually before that i didn't do the i didn't use those mm-hmm. 